Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Jay and I'm from Dudes of Legends. And uh, I was editing both the Tales of Legends videos with both Brandon and uh, Ish. And, um, you know, while, while listening to it, I, I started laughing and started uh, reminiscing about the good old days. So I kind of actually wanted to try this format out. Um, it is a podcast format of the entirety of, of our conversations. And um, by all means, let me know what y'all think i mean definitely by the likes and views i'll be able to tell if this was a good fit or not so if anything um that's enough for me uh let's get back to the podcast and let's reminisce Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I fucking hate you. My name is Jay, and I'm from Dudes of Legends. And here with me is Nick. Hi, hi, hi. From doing? Dudes of Legends as well. And I have two special guests with me. I have Ish. Hey, what's up? And I have Brandon. Hi, what's up? I'm uh, Brandon. Uh, and uh, this is a special Tales of Legends because you guys. How you were introduced in D&D, from what I remember, is that you guys were working at Manara Man, and Yacy basically was talking to you guys or whatever, and he talked to you guys about D&D? Uh, yeah, pretty, well, he talked to me specifically, um, at Manara Man, when we sold bananas, apparently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were in the back, you know. I don't see the Panera, nor the bread! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, like so. how you kept it a secret until right Until yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, we just yeah, pretty yeah. much gave away the secret. Yeah. Yeah. You guys aren't going back there. Fuck yeah. I mean, technically, we did have bananas to give away a banana mm-hmm. bread, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. remember that part. Yeah, actually, yeah. You asked for, I'm pretty sure if you asked for a banana, they would just give it to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Welcome to Tales of Legends, where we talk about banana bread. That's yeah, it's it's essentially. Right? Yeah. Uh, the strawberry banana smoothie, essentially. Oh, yes, yeah, I yeah, forgot about that. So, like I was saying, uh, we pretty much were talking at work, you know, uh, obviously working. Uh Definitely not in the back uh, where there's no cameras. Um, and we were having a very creative discussion about work. And uh, essentially we were talking about Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> and how, did, how did he even... Because I, I... Like, knowing AC, right? I can only imagine how that went. Like, just just like... Yeah, whatever. I'll play d and <laughs> No, actually, it was pretty much... Um, uh, knowing how he is. Uh, I walked in there... Uh, Awkwardly, and then he stared at me, increasingly <laughs> awkwardly. Okay. Um, then we continue the stare for maybe about a solid minute, uh, as, as of which he then uh, uh, says some Final Fantasy reference. I forgot what it was, and and I was like, "You're a fucking nerd." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he was like, "Hey, listen, man, I, I play D and D, so like, you know, I'm the king of nerds." I'm like, "Oh, you play D and D." And D and D has always piqued my interest in mm-hmm. terms of fantasy RPG, in the sense of like create your own adventure, custom everything, and we all know I like to overcomplicate things. So it was definitely the most complicated game to get into. In my, from it, my, it definitely started off that way. Yeah. It definitely started off that way, and it's weird because it's like we had met each other before in our, in the high school. Yeah. When uh, in the high school schools, when I I essentially by mistake made the the Yu Gi Oh club thing. Oh uh, man, yeah, I remember that. Like, yeah, I remember that. Who who knew that uh that two fat boys <laughs> <laughs> playing Yu Gi Oh? Well, it, it it goes even deeper than that because of what decks we were playing. Uh, you guys were the very stereotypical uh heavy gamers of Yu Gi Oh, and I was a newbie. I was oh, way by. I was the broke one. I was I was real broke. <laughs> I I bought a twelve dollar uh, six samurai structure deck and I thought I could take on the world, until uh, Jay over here hit me with his fucking uh, Mermails deck that summoned out Alvis the Torment. You know what's crazy? Oh, that, that, was, was deck. I remember that. that that wasn't my Mermails deck. Wait, which deck was it then? That it was, was my Atlantean deck. Atlantean, same shit as water. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Kind of. My Atlantean deck that had that busted card where if I sacked the water yeah. card, 
every monster but that monster got sacked in the field. Oh, that's the yeah. boss monster. The, the Leviathan. Yeah. 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 But, uh, Basically, I had my, you know, six samurai Sheen on the field thinking oh. I was the shit. Oh, and I just... <laughs> for his turn to special come. Special summon just, three monsters, sack, obvious. obvious the Tormentor, summon another card that allowed me to normal summon again, special summon another three, yeah. sack... That, Wing Dragon Wing Dragon are off. <laughs> that deck was an actual problem back then. Yeah. And since you didn't use a spell card, I couldn't negate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but th- man, we went down a rabbit hole. But yeah. we, we had met since high school. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, we obviously we graduate and years pass. We didn't talk to each other at all. And mind you, I even had class with Ish, too. Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah. We had gym together, also. Yeah, and we did have gym together, too. Yeah. And it was so random, because it was like... Yacy just sat down with us and was like... It, was it that Yacy told you, Nick? Or did he tell both of us in on Sunday? Like, I, I don't remember. We were... I don't know if he had a prior conversation with you, mm-hmm. but I remember going to a Sunday game and mm-hmm. being told, hey, dude from our high school days, who I work with, is interested in D&D, he wants to play. And I knew the name, but he was I could not remember you by face. Oh, that's fair. I'm pretty uh, I knew, I knew, unrememberable. I heard Brandon, and honestly, I'll be lying to you if Mike... My smile when I heard the name <laughs> didn't go from my like ear to ear. Because <laughs> it's like, all I remember is, oh, that kid that I completely obliterated. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 Like, yeah, yeah. You, you were very, you were like, I know who that guy is. Yeah, I was the guy that, even though you dual Egyptian god me, I, once again, never backed down from dueling you again. No, no, no and yeah. I, I love that too. Yeah, we're, gonna I, keep, we're gonna keep heading back to the goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh. But it's how you met. It's like it's the origin story. But it's hey, Yu-Gi-Oh was the gateway to D and D. To be honest, honestly, <laughs> yeah, I, I earned Jay's respect that day because even though he uh, summoned two Egyptian god cards, I mean, you didn't freaking, scoop. In round three, I didn't scoop, and I continued to play fucking twelve more games to lose every single one of them. He did that. stop facing me in Magic, though, but that's a story for another time. No, I didn't stop facing you in Magic. Uh, I just didn't want to play you in Magic. <laughs> wow, what a difference. <laughs> I have never heard a man say the same sentence. <laughs> no, no, no. There is legit a difference. To, to, oh, uh, to say difference I gave now. up playing against you means I quit. To say I don't want to play against you means you play a very annoying as deck to play. That pretty much guaranteed you to win game. So you quit? No, I refuse to continue the war. <laughs> you still quit. If the war never end, I never failed. But it did end. Did end with you. Stop. No, no, no. Resisting. We, we did two matches. We did more than two matches. Jeez. Yeah, you guys. I would really rather did. play Nick. I think. <laughs> wow. He's worse. I know he's worse, but he doesn't use one card combo that actually guarantees you a win. You know what? This brings up to an, to to another point in this Dudes of Legends, uh, Tales of Legends story. And, it, you know, I think you both know what I'm going to mention. But, so, you guys come to us, or, I don't know who contacted who. Um, Yacy pretty much talked to you guys, and then at work he told me, hey, if, you got, if you're interested still, I call it, they're doing, they're doing a game this day, if you want to just tag along. And I'm like, yeah, and that, he, although he didn't show up to that game. Uh, you know, as yes he is. It's funny. Uh, um, I met up with you. I told Ish about it. Yeah, he did. Uh, at work. Again. Actually, no, he didn't. Working. You did not tell me at work. You actually caught me off guard with it. Actually, I was in the gym, and I get a message, and I don't know, I didn't know what D&D originally was. Like, I was never, I never, it never piqued my interest. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I'm looking at this message. I'm just like, hey, um, we're going to go play D&D on Wednesday, and I'm just like, what's D and D? She said Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's a throwback itself. Yeah, and I'm just like, sure. And I, me, just not knowing what it was, I'm just like, all right, I'm just gonna go to it, see what's up. And then yeah. you mentioned Jay and Nick, and yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I, I know remember they are. I remember that because I did text you during work because you weren't there. Yeah, uh, I text you say, hey, are you interested in the game or at all? And you said you didn't even know what it was. Uh, but then when we met up later on, I explained to you, like, hey, it's going to be by Jay. Do you remember him? Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. 
And I remember actually even before talking to them about it, because it was like quick check. I don't know if you remember that they actually told us that they were playing D and D. No, I don't remember that. Oh, I don't no. remember. <laughs> Bad memory, though. Uh, I, I, I even don't remember that. I don't remember you guys meeting us in Quick Check and being like, yeah, yeah. we played d Actually, um, the no, first time I, I ever even heard of d It's when we used to do that whole thing where we like sit at Quick Check by the tables. Oh. Yeah. That's how far back it is. You know, <laughs> yeah. 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 you know, like every other nerd in Passaic. Oh, my gosh. Honestly. Uh, Jesus. Those two back tables in the Quick Check in Passaic. Yep. Like, mm-hmm. Jesus, man. But yeah, after that, um, I just tagged along, and then Wednesday happened, and I'm just like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. So, you guys show up. My room, by the way, is like a closet, so it's like yeah. I have this long table, <laughs> oh, I have the, man, the I DM screen. Yeah, I remember I had to climb under the table yeah, to, to get, get like, to the other side. Yeah, it, it was, was so bad. bad. Oh, it, it was so bad, but I had to work with what I got. Yeah. yeah. And... And we had no prior knowledge to even what D&D was. So when Jay was like, oh, so yeah, you guys had an interest. What do you guys know so far? And I looked at him and said, yo, there's dice that have 20 sides. Yeah. And I'm just like, I, don't, and I didn't even know what it was. I'm just like, um, I, know, I don't just teach me. <laughs> at this point, I was not there. Cause I, yeah, you were late. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't there. Like, no, I never met with you guys. I didn't start showing up with you guys playing D&D until Fridays. No, no you were there. No, no, no you, you, were there. There. you were there. You were there, Chief. You want to know why? And I, and I, you were there. I you want to know why? Time. Because I had, funny enough, this is when it first started. I had asked you, hey, I have these two people, <laughs> these two people who want to play D and D, and you want to know how 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 else I know you were there? Because a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours, got very upset because he didn't get invited. Oh, right. Yeah, because I remember... That's what got it. I know for a fact that you were there because I actually originally wanted to play, I think it was a druid, but then you talked me out of it because spellcasters were hard for your first Oh, yeah, game. I remember. There were, if you could do it, by all means, do it. I always recommend you to... I mean, yeah, I, because I, you knew little to nothing about it. I was like, yeah, I remember. And I was like, hey, You want to have fun. Go we, easy. We, yeah. Yeah. Go smooth. Yeah. Yeah, because you talked me into uh, playing um, Eldritch Knight instead, which is like the good middle ground to Man, learn spells. I didn't even do that. I just went straight into Paladin. Uh, <laughs> and I yes. was like a meme itself. More on that later on. So, <laughs> you were Leo. I was Leo. I, I think it was the full name was just Leonardo. But I just went by Leo, and because I understood nothing about the game. Yeah, I was a Tabaxi. Yeah. Tabaxi Eldritch Knight? Yeah, Tabaxi Eldritch Knight. I think we started at level one. We did. Uh, I remember because I didn't even understand what a background was and all that. Yeah, so, we had yeah, zero clue. I, I want to I wanna act like me and Nick, for the most part, it wasn't like Coconut Kid. But Coconut Kid was way, way after y'all. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Where it's like, that. we, me and Nick, I want to feel like we did a good enough job of explaining to you guys, hey, backgrounds do this. It doesn't really matter too much until certain points of the game. <clears throat> yeah. Your skills do this. Your class does this. Let's pick up a class, like, with you, Eldritch Fighter. Something easy to digest and understand. And then later on, you kind of get introduced Little by little, what spell yeah. is? Because yeah. I don't know if you know this, but even during that time, I, as the DM, didn't even understand fully how spells worked. Oh yeah, like, it I, was I, very. You, you actually mentioned that too. I think yeah. at that moment, Nick was the one who knew the most about spells. Yeah, yeah. Because Nick had already played a. And warlock. Nick was already playing yeah, a spellcaster. Yeah, I was already, I was, yeah, I was already like knee deep in like. I think you were yeah. failing. You were a no, he was a sorcerer. No, he was a cleric. No, I, when I had played with you guys, my first spellcaster was a warlock. It was it was Helios. When I, I remember when I had played with you guys on Wednesday, I went from cleric to sorcerer to like I dipped my toes into all of it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I knew for a fact that like this was not by all means easy. I didn't even yeah. use spells on my first character. I didn't even know how to work them. It's just like I was a paladin. I'm just like great was, sword and was, hit, and that's it. It was funny because I, there's something that I just remembered from you that was very hilarious. Mm-hmm. Where you were, you were the Asmar, and I don't know if you remember this. The first gender of that character was oh, a female. Oh yeah. yes, and I remember. You, it and you tried to role play it. That was a big fail. <laughs> <Yeah. is. laughs> you know what? It stems from like playing Final Fantasy and all the other games. Well, you choose a female. You don't yeah. want to watch a male. That's play. really. I'm like, oh play. man, like role playing a female. So I, just, I got this. I was so nervous the first day. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, it, honestly, like, and it wasn't a lot. It was only us, yeah. like, us. 
Yeah. And we were able to see it on your face. I had to literally lean into you like, dude, it's okay if you play it, dude. And, yeah, and, I, I, had to, I had to switch. I was just like, I can't. And, and honestly, fine, I didn't even, I didn't even hold you to it. Like I was like, you know what? Like this is this is this guy's first time. He, you know, you you look like you're trying, and it's like, how can I knock you for trying? Yeah, I, I can't. So it's like, you know what, dude? Don't worry about it. Like you even like, can I please play? Like you were so scared to ask me, and I was like. You know what, dude? No, let, let's let do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Yeah. Because yeah. this demo, this little demo thing that I'm doing, is to make you guys feel comfortable and try to play the game yeah. more. Yeah. Other than eh, this isn't for me, you know. Like, See, that, that's why I had the mentality of like when I made it Leo, I intentionally made him a very shy character. So I would actually have to talk less and show less emotion mm-hmm. because I didn't know how to present that. And that's when it started. But then it got. Yep. Then it got really boring to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 playing a shy character does get boring. It's yeah. It kind of just sit there, listen to everybody. It's there, cool and all. There's but, a know. way to do it. I, there I always feel is. like I yeah. always feel like the, a character that's like, if you're a character that doesn't speak, I've learned that your actions speak louder than your words with yeah. that character. So yeah. it's not a lot of uh, I'm going to sit here and do this, uh, say this rather. Mm-hmm. It's DM, I'm going to do this. Yeah. DM, I'm going to do that. DM, I'm going to like. It's very, it's very much like. It's not like you could really talk with the party. It's more of you're talking with the DM, like, hey, this is my character. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You you do talk to your party, but yeah. you speak with your actions, like, yeah. like, oh, well, you might not look like you care. Like, let's let's say somebody's having a bad day or whatever, and everybody's saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and then your character's just there, like. Dead quiet. Yeah. <laughs> but then later on, you put like a gift basket and a blanket and you give them like yeah. a little toy. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of proper ways to do it. And like you said, I do agree with uh, speaking with your actions. However, that's still. It's hard to pull. It's hard yeah, to do it's, that when you also don't know what the bonus action is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was this is assuming a lot for a guy who's like total playtime was like an hour. Yeah, True. Honestly, my total yeah. playtime was basically, hey, here's D and D. Yes, there are twenty sided dice, and there's also some other ones with different also sides too. We actually, we actually roll seven sets of dice. Yeah. <laughs> we had to share those sets. <laughs> yeah, and I was. Just we like, had to share them. Yeah. No, we didn't even have dice. I just came in there like with just myself, and that's it. No, I, you know what? We didn't share them. You want to know why? Mm-hmm. Because I did the little cutesy thing of, oh my, my new players, yay! And I went and I got on, I got the Amazon bags. Oh, oh no, that wasn't the first session. That was the second session. I thought the I should, first I thought day we didn't share. No, I don't no, really, I could have thought because that. you so, asked us. Yeah, you asked us, hey, are you, do you guys want to play again? You guys coming back? Whatever. I'm like, yeah, I'll definitely play again. And then you came like, okay, so we don't have to share dice again. You came with the bag. Yeah, I remember okay. that. Yes, All yes, because right. I, I, I did, I did that little like. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember. <laughs> Honestly, I, it, that's so far back. I don't even remember what color I got. <laughs> so the session, the, the session. I know that I know they rolled like shit though. Like, <laughs> they rolled like shit. It's a cheap Amazon like just yeah, baggie like, of dice. Like it's like the reverse. Like it's like the reverse of like good dice roll. Yeah. It, it, like you would think that oh I'm gonna get like loaded dice, but it all lands on ones. Yeah, yeah. It's it's loaded dice, but not in your favor. Not, not, not in your favor. It's funny though. Definitely funny, mm. but um, what was I gonna say? No, it was, it was interesting to say the least. Cause it was like, all right, cool. <laughs> here's how you walk. Here's yeah. how you fall, and then here's how you walk. Here's what happens if you fall. And here's if session, you take an action surge if you want to. And that yeah. session, it definitely, I de- like the idea or the story was these guys were in Sassering and you were in the school, mm-hmm. and the school mm-hmm. essentially like you guys were like new students, you as well. So it was Helios. Uh, Leo, I don't remember your character. My character's name was Kuranashi. Kuranashi. Oh, that. Yeah, it was too lo- it was too long, yeah. so I just called it Kuro, and that's it. Kuro. Yeah, All right. <laughs> so you guys had joined Sassarine to basically learn. Yeah. Um, you know, as you and know. they sent you to go to a dungeon, mm-hmm. and this oh, dungeon no. was essentially like a dungeon to get cleaned out, or whatever. Yeah. Um, you guys had went there, so you learned how to role play, or mm-hmm. an idea Somewhere on role play. <laughs> yeah, we learned how to. Talking our character. I, w- I always wanted to ask you guys, what did you think? Like, because even back then, I'm, I'm obviously I'm, I'm, I'm way better than I was back then. Mm. But even back then, like seeing me, essentially, have like 
these sort of like different actions and like the way even I spoke like because even then I, mean, I would I would say that me and Nick were kind of like known in in it's really Nick a lot was known of like being the cringy one. Yes. Honestly, when I first heard Nick role playing, I didn't think it was cringy at all. I thought it was fantastic. Like, really, it was yeah. really. I actually something. was. I'm not gonna lie. I was actually impressed. Yeah. Because beforehand, not only Yacy but also Jay was based on that slope of like, oh yeah, Nick's he has a great like uh, enthusiasm to role play. But he keeps on killing his characters. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. They said you were the one that always killed your character in the sessions. Yeah, yeah. And, but but it was never it was never Nick trying to kill himself on purpose. It was just I the made choices. I just made choices that led yeah. to my character dying. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. And it's a thing that uh, after I joined, he stopped killing his characters, and I Honestly, started yeah. killing my characters. <laughs> yeah, I was just he like, how is he killing his characters? Like, he looked at you and was like, my son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the time, I'd watched a lot of videos, did a lot of research, and it ultimately boils down to the fact of, like, if I like RPing, it, it's just, yeah. it always was a thing for me. <laughs> and believe it, like, to, to for new players... That shyness that you talk about is like very common because yeah, you know yeah. who who who's going to be that guy to just stand up in the middle of a bus station and start yeah, acting. You gotta like, be the pop- it's, that, it's that real same energy, you know. Yeah. Except you know, mm-hmm. thankfully with closer friends, but it helps if somebody rips the bandaid off first. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you're never gonna be the first one at the yeah, party, but it, if somebody else can, and then you can follow like the train. You're everyone good. that joins into the game isn't the popular kid in school, <laughs> the flamboyant, like, yeah, you know, confidence and charisma. It's the shy kid in the back of the class that fell asleep during second period. Yeah, and if yeah. you're like with all the bunch of shy kids, you know, what are you gonna do? Nothing. So yeah. if somebody, but if somebody keeps it rolling, then you're good. So that's why I try to like. Yeah. That's why Helios was so overly excitable. Like it was overly here. bombastic. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bombard these guys with emotion, not so that they respond in kind, but so that they to you know, ease into it. To, to ease, ease into, into it. it. I always, and and that's the reason why. I always brought Nick to whenever I brought like new people into Dungeons yeah. and Dragons because Nick always, Nick always had that like. If I'm the forever DM, Nick is like the forever player. Yeah, and like it's just he's like a necessary staple. No, now yeah. I'm jaded and I don't want to play with any new people. No, I know. <laughs> I know. Nah, bro, I, my dumb is all it took was Coconut Kid, and yeah, Nick was yeah. like, "Fuck all this." <laughs> well, obviously, Nick, he took more than just Coconut Kid, but. Like you guys yeah, were the he first. He played with me multiple times. <laughs> no, no, I even. stuck around with you because you. Like I, I showed said, potential. No, I you guess. showed me what I saw in myself, and I told that to Jay a bunch of times, and I told that to you, which was the reason why I never gave up on you and Danny was because I saw myself exactly in your shoes. Because once I got to see you guys RP, it's exactly what I understood everybody else said about me, mm-hmm. and I understood one thing, which was granted everybody's different, yeah, but yeah. what we suffered through was fixable. There's no real wrong way to play D&D, yeah. but there are ways to get better at it. You, yeah. A- and I guess we, we'll go more into that in a bit, but you guys went to the cave, and you now are going through the dungeon portion of Dungeons & Dragons. Oh As God, now, yes. you're getting loot, you're getting like little little items here and there, yeah. um, you're, you're figuring out like the mystery... Even though, like, I completely forgot what the mystery was about at that time. All I know is that we had to go in there, like, it was the clear it out. Like, it, was a, it was a clear out. It, it was a spiders. Spiders. It was a giant something. venom reference. Yeah, yeah. The symbiote. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Pretty and, much. Uh, I remember. No, we had to go in there, clear out the cave because there was like some big creature in there, which ended up being a giant spider. Mm-hmm. Um. Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> I just thought of, I just remember. Spoiler alert. This, this is where I started my trend of killing my characters. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you, didn't, you didn't necessarily kill your characters. I was really close. <laughs> <laughs> you was really close. Because, okay, so they yeah. started combat with the spider. Sheesh. And I don't remember who. I think you were the one that got screwed. Because you got, like, bit. And then you smoothed. No, no, no. I got paralyzed. No, he got, got paralyzed. I got paralyzed. Got paralyzed. paralyzed. What happened was, he, he walked into the room, and you said, you see something moving in the corner. And his immediate I was ready was, to nuke oh, the hell okay. Of- Fireball. Yeah. For to go against, a, I don't know if it was homebrew, but it was like a spider that was like 
super big. No, you know, I, like, I used I used D and I remember I remember messing I used it up. I used D and D spider. I even remember telling Nick because Nick didn't believe me when he was like. Wait, what do you mean I get paralyzed for 1d4 hours? And I showed him oh, the book. Oh, yes, I remember and he was now. Like, yeah, yeah. Yo, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't kill it on initial like hit. I did a lot of damage, but I didn't do enough, and I forgot as a sorcerer, I don't have HP or AC. Yeah, yeah. You so got very I got little. bit once. Majority of my HP was gone, and then my ass was on the ground. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah. and then Ish's character went unconscious. And it was no, like, no, 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 you no. were after. Sorry. Yeah. But then after. it went towards me, and I'm like, Oh, I'm a tabaxi. I could climb walls. Oh, yeah. That's yes. the coolest thing in the world. So I climbed to the roof. No, but you then, hit it. You but hit then I hit it, and it fell. No, no. No, no. It didn't you, fall. You, chose, you told me, oh, I'm going to let go, and I'm going to drop. And it's so like. It hit it. Yeah. I remember. And because then, I didn't really understand attack of opportunity. That's that the is- first time that attack of opportunity was introduced. And really, looking back at it now, I, as the DM, should have probably told you, hey... Are you sure? If you do, No, no, not even are you sure. It's more like, hey, if you do this action, you are going to get attack of opportunity, which yeah. means this. Yeah. But I kind of just let it as, you know what, this is like... This a is, learning experience. This is a learning experience yeah. for them to See. know how shit rolled. See, but even now, it's you kind though, of like... My, a, my only advice to your past you was you should have used a different set of dice because if you guys <laughs> didn't know, <laughs> Jay has this specific set of dice that we the have been... Dice. The for four dice. years now, we've been demanding a test on those because we, we assumed they're rigged. I don't know where they went. You don't have them anymore, do you? No, I do. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Still, he doesn't That's use them crazy. anymore. I, don't <laughs> use no, I use all the metal ones. He only uses them when he uh, wants to pass. Um, <laughs> That's crazy. The thing is how every time you, I roll, everybody knows because it's just metal. Yeah. But those dice were uh, really, really consistent with nat 20s. Oh, man. It, it was pretty bad. And, uh, it was pretty bad. Yeah. You, uh, you rolled crit. Not only did you, you, this is before we started doing the almost auto hit for uh, Hold on. unarmored defense. You actually rolled for that one. I remember because you took all my HP away in one hit. Not only That's that, he actually yeah. got a nat one in that encounter because of the fall. No. You, no, 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 it was after that. It it was was I had to make that. a con was, save. Yeah, really? That. So not only was I already down for the count at zero HP, I was paralyzed on top of it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So then it only left you. Oh, man. And you were like, you were already I like nervous. nervous. <laughs> so you're yeah. like, uh, uh. Somehow, I remember I was in Asimar at that moment. I'm just like, all right, cool. Let me go and see if I could try to hit it. And that's when I realized I have fly speed. I'm like, all right, cool. So I can just fly up to it and hit it. Luckily enough. I got my first ever natural 20 on a hit. Yeah. And actually somehow finished it off. And I was the happiest guy in the world that day. <laughs> and I'm over here like, man, Jay invited me to tutorial to kill me. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> which, which wasn't the case. Like, like I just frothing at the who mouth. Who like, fucking thought that a fucking spire came in with the monos? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Honestly, I did. I, I took those monos. I, I definitely understood the spider was going to kill us. Yeah, we were going to be fooled. But, but thankfully, between me and Ish, you know, we did enough damage overall to, like, destroy yeah. it. And then... Yeah. Well, between you three, because it's not like... I didn't do anything. I missed my hit. No, he, he missed, missed his oh, hit. I, he I missed. thought you hit. No, 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 no. He missed and, like, tried to get away from it. And that's what caused oh, the whole... Yeah. Thing. And that's I'm how thinking, you... Oh, <laughs> I should retreat and try it again. Yeah, I remember now. I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> 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 but it was a learning experience. Uh... It didn't really teach me much because I still killed my characters later on. But um, <laughs> I think I think then afterward, Longer. I don't know if you guys got like, I don't know if you guys got like poisoned or whatever. But then you guys, we played like more sessions after that. Yeah, you guys ended up enjoying it. Then I had that weird like symbiote thing. Yeah, that um, symbiote thing was. It was weird. a weird story. It, it was, was pretty much like it was. It was a weird story. But it was. It wasn't really meant to be too serious. It was meant no, to just teach it, the game. It was just supposed to be like. Because we had our one problem player. Oh, man. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that, that, the whole, the whole God's not real thing is 
Yeah. That's a whole other episode. Yeah, but, that's that's a different episode. But we don't in, have that in, in that in that portion though, let's not forget. Oh, uh you guys had fought like a um a uh bounty hunter from the future. I won't say his name for certain reasons. Oh reasons. yes, I remember this. For copyright and, reasons with uh, uh Disney. <laughs> oh uh, man, I remember this. Yeah. Oh yeah, when you like launched missiles at my neck and I was yeah. like, oh, <laughs> blown the hell yeah. up. Uh, and then we had done that session and Dallas was there for that. And we did that session or whatever and you did a thing. So I ran out of spell slots. I do remember why I chose this option. And I remember me thinking, okay, I'm a fighter. I'm a cat. I can't fly. I have no spell slots left. I have no range. I look at my paladin next to me. Yeah, that was like, me. Hey, can I have your sword? And he said no. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to roll sleight of hand. He, he, <laughs> he rolls sleight of hand, and I'm just like, are you serious? I, I failed against it. He took the sword, <laughs> and I threw it. <laughs> he threw it. Do you mind telling me? Do you mind telling the audience what was your number? Oh, obviously, it was like my tenth nat one within like a month. <laughs> it was so bad. I'm over so here getting weird. bombarded by hellfire and missiles, <laughs> and this motherfucker's like, "Yeah, this sword's empty." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just took my sword. I know. Yeah. The sword I attack with. I'm getting ready Mind from you, an extra turn. I was very much a whole like, uh, like. As a tutorial player, not like I, I've never there to help you guys. I, I sat there like, yo, you can do whatever it is you think is right. And then you said that, and I really wanted. I stayed quiet because it was your choice. But at the end of the day, I was like, this is not right. This this <laughs> is, this is not correct. Uh, I I know I'm typically the guy who makes the room uh, dumbfounded. But I've never seen more dumbfounded faces on people when they look I at me. I lost when I said my that. fucking <laughs> mind, bro. Man, you my my so favorite sad. part though. My favorite fucking part is where the sword wound up. Oh yeah, oh, <laughs> and, and this is this is actually pretty dark. Yeah. Um, so this is where it gets really dark because Jay rolled for like the severity of hit my nat one, and it was bad. So basically, I missed, and because it was a great sword, uh, it was big, <laughs> very big sword. I had a good spell of strength. Now that I think about it, uh, so I missed. It went through a roof of a house. Which ended up killing a mother and child that was hiding from the blast. <laughs> that was so bad. We didn't find out until after we got molly whopped. <laughs> yeah, and we were like, oh, let's see if there's any survivors in the area. To which I, on my lonesome, saw the sword there. <laughs> yeah, um, I remember this. Yeah, you found it. And because I played a cat, and I thought, oh, I'm a cat. I don't care about humans. I saw the sword and was like, they don't need to know. And I closed the door. <laughs> yeah, he told nobody about it. And nobody knew. And nobody knew. And then he's like, hey, have you guys seen my sword? I was like, nope. Yeah, I'm looking for my sword. The pallet is looking for a sword. He's like, yo, where did you throw it? He's I'm like, like I don't oh, know. it got blasted away over in that general yeah, direction. Yeah, I was like, all right, so I guess I have no sword now as a paladin. I'm like, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, the the story ended in like five like sessions. Wanted criminal, you know, Honestly. fingerprints on the sword. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. You would have been gaboofed. Yeah. That's not even a word. I just made that up. <laughs> it's a fitting word. Oh, if it was a level 1 through 20 story, I definitely w would have suffered the repercussions of those actions, but this was level 1 through 5, so. Yeah, you didn't. You this didn't, is like yeah, the yeah. end of the session, too. Yeah, right, so. Uh, but you guys had played the level 5 stuff, and at that point, I was kind of terrified because I was like... Oh, the like story's over. Now what are they going to do? Story's over. Story's over. I hope they had fun. And then I asked you guys, would you want to continue? This oh, one. yeah. At that point, I was, I was just like, like, we were done? <laughs> yeah, at that point, we also didn't realize the story was done. So we were like, oh, oh yeah. We're I do characters? I strangely enough remember the dumbfoundedness that everybody had where it was like, Oh, the campaign's over, not the this particular week. Yeah, is over. We yeah. Got, we, yeah. When you were explaining, like, oh, so we're done now. Da, da, da. I'm like, damn, that means we're not coming here on Wednesdays anymore. Yeah, I was sad. <laughs> I was sad. I'm just like, man, and I, I actually we, enjoyed yeah. it. I'm just like, yo. And I remember we it. sat down. We talked about making it more about, like permanent. Yeah, we talked about because at the time I was running Sunday. Yep. Yeah. With my other group and. 
I'm gonna flat out and say it. I think you guys revitalized, and I, I, I know I, I sound like a broken record. Every yeah, time you I'm said it to us plenty of times. Plenty of times I've told you guys, millions of times. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I have no shame in my heart by saying this. You guys revitalized me to a point where I felt like if on Sunday I felt like an average DM, you guys made me feel like I was the fucking like Cause King like I was I was like not God. Or I'm not gonna say God. But I, you guys made me feel like a king. We put you on yeah. a high pedestal you, for you a guys DM. put me yeah. on, a, on a high pedestal. And that's something because to me, at the time, I truly didn't know y'all. Yeah. I remember, too, because it was, like, uh, we were still, like, meshing into your group. Like, we weren't, like, fully 100%. You know, like, how groups tend to merge like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we, and like, me and Ish, we were always, like, yo, like, honestly, it's really cool how you did that. We're, like... Giving you credit for stuff that you didn't even think of. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> We're just like, yo, bro. Well, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whereas, like, Nick is, like, on the other side of the table giving you those eyes, like, yo, I know you didn't think of that. <laughs> I'm over no, here, like, you no, a dumb you, sack no. of shit. I was like, you really, <laughs> you really, you really just nuked the motherfucker. <laughs> I got bombarded with missiles. And you think of the credit? <laughs> I'm over here scrapping myself up from the ashes. And he's, out here, he's out here committing genocide. <laughs> <laughs> but. To be honest, you got like, and I, and I had told Nick, I was like, yo, I like, I got, I started, it, it was so fucked up because I started prepping for you guys and not, and little for Sunday. Yeah, I remember, because yeah. that, that's what caused like the riff of like, uh, you didn't know if you want to continue with Sunday's campaign and because like, also like not only that, but you were working and hosting two games at the same time. That you was also another working, issue. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. I don't know where. Oh, yeah, Amazon. Amazon. You were, yeah, Amazon. 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 Yeah. you were doing two sessions, and you occasionally did Uber. So. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I remember that. It was, a little it was right. rough, but, like, honestly, you guys you guys gave me the power that every Like, I was more excited for Wednesday than I was for Sunday. Yeah. And that I'm not going to lie to you. It probably showed. Like, yeah. for them. It probably you know, showed. Actually, I, I, pre- I don't know if I ever told you this, but you actually were the one... That was one of the reasons that influenced me to start hosting my own games on Friday. Yeah, that's what I was going to get to. It was like, yeah, because I remember literally two months after playing with these guys on Wednesday, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> right, you started DMing already. So, Jay. I'll never forget when so Jay was like, was, yeah, he's hosting a D&D game on Fridays. And I was like, ooh, Brandon? Brandon. Brandon. Brandon? Yeah. <laughs> he and, thinks he's ready? And oh, funny boy. enough, because what? So we did that one little demo thing of ours, right? Yeah. Then... Another person DM'd, and that went a sort of way. Oh, that man. lasted like two days, and then that was really, one really and, and it, it, last, it lasted two days because he wasn't really 100% there at the time. and It was a bunch of scheduling issues. It, it was a bunch of scheduling too. issues, but I guess the main thing of the, uh, like, hey, you're the host. You're technically supposed to. Yeah. Yeah, know. so uh, for the audience to uh, <laughs> also get caught up to... Uh, my level of what can I, what's the best word incompetence um <laughs> we started in a room a very small room sorry jay but uh with only four people three players one dm yep. mm-hmm. and i thought yeah i could do this being two months into the game we just finished the first story we're starting our second one making our characters Iron Home. Yeah, you i guys still don't Iron know Home. what i still didn't know what a background was um oh, yeah <laughs> I thought I could host a game in my house every Friday with all new players with a headcount of eight players and one (laughs) D. Not even someone to help you, just yourself and eight new people. Myself included. I wasn't new, but I was there. Yeah. I remember Uh, remember showing up to that Friday. And I, I, at the time, I didn't do shit on Friday. Was I driving? No. You... I had heard from Jay that you were doing this, yeah. and I had remember telling Jay like, "Yo, he's not ready, but maybe DMing is the the other half of the yeah, coin. Because, maybe yeah. you were really good at DMing versus playing." Because I, yeah. I, I had came up. You had bought all the books. You were like into it. I remember yeah. that. And it was like, yeah. Right. Like at the time, like you were. I, I invested I an know. entire check from my first job into that. He really and, did. and you know what? I commend you because I started off as like a DM. 
Mm -hmm. Eventually, and I didn't know shit. I knew less than what you knew. So, for me, I didn't. I thought it was like, yeah, throw him in there. Like, throw him, throw him in the wolves. Yeah. Like, you know, so, let, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. So I ended up hosting a game. Um, all new players, a bunch of friends. I pretty much was like the Jehovah Witness to like. Not Jehovah Witness. I, I don't know why I said that term. What's the other thing where like people like go, hey, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus? Um, Mormons. 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 Yeah, Mormons. Yeah. I don't know why I said Jehovah's Witness. That's a whole different thing. Uh, Jehovah's Witness kind of does the same thing. Do they? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Either way, uh, I was the pious man trying to spread the religion of the ND on my friends. <laughs> uh, it worked for a few of us. Have it y'all seen this? Us? By the miracle of our good God, we have dice that are twenty sided. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it was like in the Spider Verse with um, Spider Man Noir, and he was just like this cube. It perplexes me. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I pretty much lured them in with how you lure any other nerd. You throw anime girls at them. Oh yeah, and I made <laughs> yeah. a very cliche anime school. Hook, story. line, and sinker. Hook, line, and sinker. Had them all like, yo, join it. You're not going to regret it. And they were having fun until the game got really complicated. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so This was the one hosted at your house? Or the yeah. Other? yeah. So, the first, so this was also Danny's first foray. That was yes. Danny's yes. first. Also and Danny's. I met, it was the first time where I met Jose and Danny and them. Yeah. Because you, you told me, hey, I would like you to be there. Kind of teach them how to do how to make their characters. Yes, I remember it was our yeah. first dungeon. And too, literally, yeah. I sat down in like a group meeting. I was like, "Hey guys, what's up?" Yeah. Uh, so everybody, what well, everybody's gonna do if you can afford it, buy the because we didn't have the like, PDF. You guys said PDFs or something like that. No, it was the app. It was the, the app. Indie. Oh, the app. It was yeah, two dollars. It, it was like two dollars. Yeah. Everybody's, yeah. Dollars, yeah. everybody's uh, get the character fifth edition character sheet. Yeah. Because it's super cheap. Because D&D and Beyond didn't exist at the time. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to go over <laughs> with yeah, you guys. Yeah, I'm going to hit you with the throwback of a century. Yeah, just go on over pub. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. And so we, we made... I'm, I went through with them and made their characters. So yeah. You were my assistant DM for that day. But then you couldn't make it for the next two sessions. And... Um, we didn't do anything for those sessions. We it was our characters were paused. I <laughs> made that world a little too open for new players, and I you say that. But when I when I sat there, and I I I saw the production you put. Like as a DM, I always was like, "All right, cool. I'm just gonna sit down. I have my DM screen. I have my notes here." And if something happens, then you know, fuck it. We're just gonna rock with it and see where it goes. You, however, you yeah. put crap in that. You had a lot of things. You, you had yeah. a whole PowerPoint. You had the characters on the PowerPoint. Yeah, so to further explain that to, to the audience, I guess. Um, what happened was I w am a man of very low self-esteem. Um, but I managed to overcome my shortcomings by overcomplicating everything to the fullest degree possible. <laughs> So, what I did was, using my profound knowledge of my ADD addictiveness, uh, I used PowerPoint to essentially make a visual novel game. <laughs> he did. And honestly, and between you and I Andy, loved it. It was intros, actually really good, considering yeah. it was the first time DMing, too. I, I, I loved it. I loved, I loved how much work, how much time you put into that. And when I came back, because I made the Barbarian tour now. Yeah, um, I remember. That. When I when I oh, when I did that, and I left, I don't know why I I didn't show up. I guess because my whole thing was, eh, I'm not really here. Like this is really supposed to be Brandon and his friends. Yeah, I, I that's a fair point. You know? um, yeah, because the PowerPoint came from like, oh, I don't have a really good vocabulary to like describe things, so I'm gonna use pictures. Oh, I can't really do voices that well, so I'm going to take a bunch of random Google characters and put them on the screen, and that way they we don't know which voice I'm doing without me actually having to change voices. Yeah, and, and I, it, it, was, it, was, it was somewhat of the lazy and not lazy way of doing sorry, cause it, it was pretty much like, hey, here's how to make a rocket uh, to go across the street. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it, but it was so, like... Yeah, I'll be legit with, with you. Yeah. I'll be legit with you. The person. When you stopped doing it, all 
the way it's done, especially for the second session for you, it kind of hurt because it was like, I feel like, I felt like, even though you thought it was a crutch, I thought it was, this is Brandon's own style. The reason why I dropped it is simply because to save time. It used to yeah, be yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, it, it used to be like, like eight hours in the week to produce each uh, session yeah. and plan it out, get all the backdrops, get all the character. I had like a, I had at least 10 gigabytes of pictures saved That's for all, everything. And I do remember telling you like, there is a big flaw with. Because it was very limiting on. It was very like, what, like, okay, cool. So you have a picture for everything. I doubt that. What if I decided to just jump off and just explore the world? Uh, and, you know, I looked at Jay and I was like, okay, cool. Give me a minute. Uh, pretend as if you're talking in characters with each other. And as I will make the slide <laughs> that yeah. you, you want to go to. But that's to. the thing. Like, at that point, it's harder for you than it would be for me. Because if somebody was to tell me that, it's like, okay, cool. Now you're at the forest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why. And I could just jump right into it. And Whereas with you, it's like you actually had this full-on set. And yeah. I remember bragging about it. In, on Sunday, like, yo, this dude has PowerPoint. Yeah. It's but I did take crazy. what you said with a grain of salt because in my mind, I started to rely on it. So it was like, I should probably cut my losses because it, although it was fun to always make, it was fun to pre uh, present, it was fun to do this. At the same time, it's like, I don't know if I'm getting better as a DM because I'm on all these crutches. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a lot. I guess my whole thing is I didn't care about the presentation of your session at the time. I cared a lot. About I mean, the actual DMing. The actual DMing. I mean, a lot of uh, very early on Ooh. DM mistakes. Oh, man. There's Ooh. one fact. It, like, yeah. Every DM has the right to DM however they want. However, a DM should not be stumped on something. Especially, like, you have to at least know somewhat of the fundamentals of it. Yeah, it's like... And it shows it's, it's, it's not fun to play with a DM that every two seconds has to resort to, oh, wait, I remember reading that in the handbook. Let me double check. Yeah, <laughs> and there was one. There was one where ah, I fucking forgot. Fucking Tales of Legends where we forget most of the time. There was a thing <laughs> uh, there was a thing with, with with you that happened. You were a paladin, another paladin Asimar. And uh there was an ability that Brandon didn't even think you Oh had. yes, it was an uh, un I think a it was unlocking, you know, it was an unlocking of an ability that happened. No we no, 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 no. that's a different. That's a different. No, part it was something about. with your class. I think it was Smite. Like you didn't. Know... I didn't understand what Smites were. Yeah. You oh yeah. Know that I you could because do even it. though you played a paladin in the first game, you never used. I smites. never used. Smite. I will admit right now, the first character I made was a paladin, Asimar, and I never for the five levels I was playing, I never used divine smite. smite properly. Actually, I didn't even know it existed until I actually read it. In the actual PDF of a book. I'm sorry. It's like playing Pokemon and you have like a shiny, like, uh, Pidgey. And then you're always like, oh, it's just a worthless Pokemon. It has like best IVs, but you just don't know it. Yeah. I <laughs> I completely forgot. And this is probably going to get rewinded in the video. Before we even go to that. You, you did have an Asimar that was a paladin. I did. Oh, was, yeah, from the first campaign. Yeah. From the first campaign. Kuranashi was a paladin Asimar. Yes, he was. And you I know remember, what? Yeah. Not only did... <laughs> I messed up so bad. So, I up really fast. So, to backtrack a bit. Backtrack, I feel yeah. like we definitely need to talk about this. Oh, man. <laughs> so, so, there was... Uh, or Go ahead. Go ahead, Brandon. So, the, in the first campaign, there was... There was a point where we had to, like, infiltrate a party. Yeah, cause actually, uh, actually, I remember it. Yeah, we had targets. to infiltrate a party, and we had to do one of two things. Three things. Three things. I don't remember what the third thing was, but uh, I know what the first two I was. I vaguely remember. It was steal the one, the artifact that Five was, artifacts that was scattered around. There was five around. artifacts because it was like an art museum kind of thing. Yeah, it was like a party. Uh, we had to either A, steal the five artifacts, B, assassinate one of the uh, ringleaders of like the It was society. like a nobleman or something like that. Yeah, yeah something yeah. like that. And then the other one was kidnap someone. I no, forgot. it was to either kill him or kidnap him yeah, with a teleporting him. like sigil Sigur. that we had. Yeah, we had like a one off like item that was able to just teleport him back to the base. And man, were we almost close to 
finishing all the objectives yeah. until I did the. It was literally mistake. the last objective. Everyone was Assassinate. stationed. Everyone was. Uh, we were actually. We were so optimized. I'm pretty sure Nick had a smile on his face. Yeah. We were so optimized. We had everyone at the ready to take an item. Everybody and was were being useful. Um, the one person set. wasn't had everybody wild syndrome. Yeah. But one person was distracting the guards. We had like a person on every. Remember we had item. dancing lights up to. Spin yeah, I had the, the dancing people. lights yes, up to, like I ghosts and like. A, I had uh, the guy tag that. It was but it all came down to when uh, Kuro was in a room. He managed to. Infiltrate the per- the target's room. I he managed that. to not That's only a paladin, infiltrate by the, way. the target's room, get him alone in his room. Mm-hmm. For him to also wait to, for context, all you had to do, I gotta say, I he had a say. magic item that worked like walkie talkies. Yes, yeah. I have to say what I said to him. I remember it like it was like yesterday. So, I took the guy. There was a ruckus going around. The dancing lights was causing everyone to be scared, and all the guys were like, "Yo, protect this guy." And I'm like, cool. So I take him and I go into his... Because you were a knight in disguise. I was a knight in disguise. And I decided to take him to his um, to his bedroom it, at the time. It was his office. His office, yes. Yeah, you were disguised one of his headphones. Yeah. And his then, weird. for some reason, I decided to say, okay, it, um, it all is clear. And then Jay, <laughs> role-playing the character, and me, still kind of a new player, he's just like... What did you say? And then me was like, oh, um, you see, we have these walkie-talkie like things in our ears now. It's a new <laughs> thing for nice. Away, bro. Just, just, I love, I, I love this. You know, obviously, but then, baby, so, so, we had so, to remind laugh, him that you're literally <laughs> talking to the head of security who would know if his knights were issued walkie-talkies, yeah. of which they weren't. My man really told the guy. I was like, oh, no, I'm talking to the guards on the walkie-talkie. He's like, oh, I hired y'all. What are, you, what are you talking about? Yeah, and then I, for some reason, me as a person started panicking. <laughs> no, I for some reason. There was definitely a reason. There was a lot of reasons. No, but a good reason. I, start panicking. Me as a player now, I would have done the best thing possible, which was, you know. Kill him. Hey, kill, <laughs> I have him alone. Why don't I just kill him? Easy. Yeah. Or teleport nope. him away. You or teleport him away. I was. Had, I had, had him at the stitch. Oh yeah, just... you were also the one with the sigil. Yeah. I was the one with the sigil. I was like, yo, I was, Ish, the one I was the... so happy because Ish got him in a room alone. And all you had to do was touch him. <laughs> all you had to do was touch him. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> For some reason. He just. I was like, he's just like, wait, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> this walkie-talkie thing, like, he what was is like, that? Who and, are you? And then he's asked, who am I? And I'm just like. <laughs> Oh, I mean, before, I mean, before you even do that, you tried to charm him. I did try to charm him. <laughs> and, then, and then I had to look at him and be like, yeah, she's, she's an elf. All right. an elf. So here's the thing. There's elf three are... things I did. I remember what happened. It was I tried to charm him with a spell. I didn't even know how the spell worked. I just it, was like, screw it. Let me try spell, it. You did the spell right. It's just that it so happened he that was he was elf. an elf. And so, elves, for those who don't know, are immune to charm effects. And yeah. know when they're and I know. targeted. And I forgot about it. I'm just like, all right, so that's not working. And then I remember, I think I was in... You were I was a fallen Asimar and that had the ability of conquering presence or something, like a, a minuscule like a version fear, of yeah, it. Yeah, like a fear yeah. effect. So so it was a fear it's... effect, and I tried to do it, and then I noticed that he isn't affected by that either. <laughs> and now he knows I'm trying to do something. But you have to... You had, to, you had to give the whole antagonist uh, monologue that you Because he was like, what are you doing? And then he's just like, and, who are you? And, and, yeah, he asked me, who am I? And, and I'm just like. I took the helmet off. And oh my I took God. everything off, took off my disguise. I had my sword in my hands. I'm just like, yo, bro. <laughs> I'm a I am oh, no, 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 no. But let me say it. Okay. I got to say it. <clears throat> I'm a fallen Asimov. <laughs> I've killed people before. <laughs> and then... Like, there was there was a little bit more to it, but the long story is like, my man basically gave a social security number. Like, yeah. I, I really did. And, and I'm over here listening in, and I'm like, oh no, oh jeez, all right, it's all gone to shit. Like, the whole, like, <laughs> the guy's like, oh, word? 
Security! <laughs> but thankfully, on the other end of the door, I'm over here listening through the walkie-talkie, taking care of the security, and I bust in symbiote style. I remember that. And, then and I just in... look at you and I go, "We're talking later. Go through the window, fly yeah, out. And I remember You're I done." Left. Yeah, I left flying out through the no, window. No, no, you didn't tell him to. You all the guards rushed in, and you rushed in after the guards to fight them. But then he's like. <laughs> Oh, okay. And he jumps out the window. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he just flies away. And I flew away with, no- with the sigil <laughs> at with that. With the sigil. T- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know why I did that. It was. I was still a new player. I was just like. I call it the new player, like the it, jitters. It, it, it happens. It like, was no, because it, it's it, the spiral. Like once that first, once you fall down that first step, bro, you're gonna just keep yo, going. Yeah, down. Yo, look. I'll, I'll even give it to you like this. Nick did it too. Nick, Nick did it with the. When, with when the that machine. anxiety, when that anxiety hit, it hit different, bro. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it was it bad. Different, bro. Oh man. And so. Uh, oh, I just want to mind you, mind you, my favorite part: he who shall not be named was sitting in the toilet with, with irritable bowel syndrome, trying to oh. count. Yeah. <laughs> that is a distraction. <laughs> so I'm over here juggling everything. Uh, yeah, but oh man, that we definitely had to bring that up. Yeah. But going back to where we left off before with uh, introduction of Friday session, mm. as players, you know, coming came and go. Uh, <laughs> Some players dropped out either uh, scheduling or they lost interest in the game. There, there's, yeah. there's something that I do want to say to that. I did not join Friday because you had a full thing, and I remember we yeah, talked about it. Yeah, I had told yet. you, I had told you because the one big thing, and I'm, I'm not going to name drop them or anything, but one of the big things that I didn't like was that you put all this effort, and I know, even without you telling me, I knew, like, a lot of effort went into this. Yeah. It did. Why does nobody seem to give a fuck? And I, I had to vouch for them because not only were they my friends, but I also understood that that was going to be a thing beforehand. Jay, you were able to see it because you DM. You know what it takes to DM. Yeah. They yeah, didn't I know. And, I, and because of my pride, I refused to tell them how much work I put into it. Yeah, but even so, it's like, I guess it was kind of like the thing. Like, I got to tell them what I didn't get to tell my other group, which was... And I remember sitting with you, with you ish, yep. and talking to Jose, and talking to Danny, and talking to you, Brandon. Mm-hmm. And it's like, guys, you put way too much. Well, specifically to you, Brandon puts way too much effort for people to not be paying attention. Mm-hmm. There was that yeah. one time where I, I as ha, my freezer character, mm-hmm. uh, story yeah. for another time. Uh, my freezer character, it was me, and it was Ish. Mm-hmm. And then nobody else did anything. Bad and one. then at the end, you was like, all right, cool. Everybody gets to level up. And that pissed me off. Yeah, I remember. So fucking bad. Because it was like, but they didn't do shit. All they were doing yeah. was being on their phone talking about some bullshit. Yeah, but it was supposed to be like, oh, this is represents the class, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, like, but but yeah. then it's, it's supposed to represent the class, but then but, there's only two people I mean, in the class. After it happened and you guys definitely voiced your concerns to me, I'm like, oh, you know what? That is true. I probably should have considered that in the moment. Cause like, I'm really not even playing. saying, th- n- like, not even have given them a level up, but definitely something like, where, like, all right, because you two were the ones that did most of the work. Yeah, I could have got more, but... An item or yeah. something. You know, an item, yeah. something, yeah. something to represent. But I should have definitely repre- uh, gave you guys more. But it's one of the things where... I, it's not me, like, being mad at you because of you being a shit DM. I didn't even Yeah, you, you were time. mad at me. I, I understood I was, that. I was more of, like... Like, whereas <laughs> Nick saw you, a lot of him in 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 you when you were, D, when you were as a player, I saw a lot of myself in you... When you were DMing, oh, my, this is a lot of praise going to me. I'm not that special. But. No, no, like <laughs> it, it was, it was, there was potential there, man. Well, there is potential, and honestly, even now to this day, you have improved so much that you are, in my eyes at least, one of the one of the most greatest, or I'll put, best role players that we got, like. And and that's from where you were to how you are now. You, I know you're improving every single day, and because you went you and Ish, the fact that you two like it just started this conversation, and the and hell us recording this started by you guys just talking to Yacy and being like, yeah, I play D and D. Like, do you yeah. know how crazy that is? Yeah, it is like. 
that like and not only that like I got to meet I got to get I got to get to know you know you no ish no Jose no Danny and know the rest of your crew and that and it's like you guys you're gonna make me cry Jay. <laughs> Wait, man, you're making me <laughs> it, it's it's like you guys we introduced you to this game right and we've had fun ever since and not only did we get you to get in, like be excited and enjoy the game, but little behind the scenes, again like a broken record, you revitalized me. Ah, yes. And I would e- I would easily say you also somewhat revitalized Nick. Uh, uh, Nick, you gotta fix that broken record over there, man. Just... Yeah. <laughs> Listen, from my perspective, <laughs> it was I didn't I wasn't there. Yeah, you I remember there playing bare like like you know we we played on Wednesdays and that was all I got and then like I had no idea how you DM'd I. I heard from Jay that, like, your games went as well as you could have done with, like, two months on your belt. But the players were causing a lot of issues because there was something missing there. And I wanted to help, and I wanted to join in, but I couldn't because life plus you were having a... a, Eight players. There was a lot of people. Exactly. But But somebody, one particular person dropped out. I don't remember who it was. Uh, First, it was... uh, First, it was uh, Manumanum uh, to, uh, you know, I don't know if they want their names dropped out. Um, it was the first kid. Uh, he left because of scheduling issues because he worked in New York. Um, two weeks after that, another one dropped out simply because he liked the game, but he, he didn't like to have to come back uh, on a schedule and, like, have to work around it, uh, which is completely reasonable. Um, like, we play D&D every week, so... Mm. To, ha- to always dedicate a single day every day, it- it's hard on some people. Yeah, and, and you're a new player, so it's kind of yeah. like going, yeah. going into It's like, again, it's like... <laughs> trying to, it was a commitment they weren't really into. It's trying to convince an atheist to come to Sunday church every <laughs> single day, oh, every yeah. single week. And I remember as soon as uh, the first person left, you know, Jay hits me up. He's like, yo, Nick, it's pretty late in the game, but what? there's a seat open, and I want to introduce you to... I remember specifically, you, you, you had told me that, like, there were problem players... But you had felt like if I was shown up, for some reason, you know, I still don't. Yeah, <laughs> like and, 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 I could, and, I could help them get into the game more. Yeah, Funny and enough, you did, the reason, though. the you reason did. why I said that too, at least for your standpoint, right, is that I introduced that conversation with, yo, like they're so good <clears throat> that when a proper role play thing is happening, they would cry, and then it goes off. Me to, specifically. And then <laughs> no, well. It goes off to the little specific this little Ish, story. Ish is definitely, even to this day, the one role player that can always put the most emotion to his character. Yeah. Whether it be anger, whether it be like, sadness, whether it be he he presents his emotions very well. You are very in tuned. Like, <clears throat> whereas he's really good at role playing, and like kind of like presenting his character with with this. Is unorthodox a, a right word to use? Yeah, like, very, it's very yeah. unorthodox and like. He's able to bring the... This well, I'm talking about very... you. Where it's like, you come in with a theme with the character, and you don't get off that high horse. Yeah. yeah. Like, you you know what you bring in. Whereas with, with Ish, the it's, thing that it's... Ish does is that he, like... You feel your character, and that's fucking... Hard. I feel like the best way to say it, it's going to sound somewhat philosophical, is that he, um... He's adaptable with the character to the point where, like... He allows his emotional spectrum in the game to resonate with his character, yeah. and he's. I become my character, man. Yeah. yeah, you do. <laughs> I yeah. become like, my character. Like no, no lie. When I first told you that session, remove yourself from your own shoes and put yourself in their shoes. You took that. You one took that shit to heart. Yeah, <laughs> I really did. <laughs> you took that. Right. the last session. Last session, I. Yeah. I, I was like, you were, you're hey, Your last session was uh, Mimizu, and yes. it was like. He was such a very angry most of the time. He was very uh, stubborn and hard-headed, lazy. Uh, the beginning lazy. La- yes. beginning lazy. He ended up working towards that. But he also was very quick to get angry. Yeah. And it, that was one of his strong suits because that's what actually kept him headstrong in battle. And uh, some, like, he, he was in the whole zone as a leader and stick to his own ideals. Um, honestly, one of your best characters, in my opinion. Oh, yes, of course. Um... And he, every single time, like, it came for his time to take the show, whether it be in battle, you you emphasize what he was doing. You put the emotion in all his moves. You 
you brought out his emotion in the arguments. You brought mm-hmm. out his intentions. <clears throat> he he never. He also wasn't a character to hide his intentions. He no, wore everything no, not, on his sleeve. He was not. That's one thing he was yeah. not. When it came down to fighting an enemy he definitely didn't like, he was ruthless. But yeah. when it came to an enemy that he felt indifferent on, he fell back to his lazy traits. And then this this yeah. is all coming from the guy who couldn't play a female. Who couldn't play session. a female. Like, And it's crazy <laughs> because actually I'm playing a female now. Yeah, yeah. I, you're, you're better playing, with it. <laughs> you're playing Korra now. Yep. Yeah. Um, and it's crazy It's crazy to me that it's like the guy who was the fallen Asimar guy <laughs> two years down in the line became... Is able to present emotions so it, well at a critical standpoint. It, it goes to show the therapeutic aspects of D&D. Yeah. If, if the cards are played right, it allows personal growth to happen mm-hmm. in a sense where it's like I would expect Ish to do the same thing he did a million times over if he yeah. was just learning how to play the game the first time again Yeah. but you know through through proper channels through like supportive friends and like a, a safe place to play kind yeah. of well, you we're do, in a safe place you, we have you do, on you do get you're gonna get you're gonna get memed on <laughs> yeah, but sure. that's not gonna be the end result the end result's gonna be alright cool what were the mistakes where did you go wrong how did you improve yeah and you took that over the course of two plus years, and you you are what you are now, and that goes for everybody at the table. Because mm-hmm. I'll name drop one person. Like when I when I joined in, it's because we wanted to make you know and he'll he'll appreciate the sentiment. Like Danny, your brother, for oh, example. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Where where you all understood, you know, he coming from an artistic background who had comic book ideas and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I I definitely, and, and this is definitely I I do want to do a Tales of Legends eventually with Danny, Jose, and you guys. Mm. Uh, in the future or maybe sometime soon but you with them I just played off on the fact on well Danny you want to do this yeah why not play something like Dungeons and Dragons and get to put your actually put yourself in those characters shoes yeah and feel what they're feeling and whatnot yeah. and there's a specific situation that Danny Kind of started turning around and being like, "Oh, I, was, this, I know what you're talking about." How, but I want to say that for, for another for story, another exactly. Story. Yeah. yeah. But what I was getting into is when I, I remember, and Jose too. I will yeah. never forget that that night where Jay's like, "Yo, Nick, can you play a game on Friday?" And I was like, "You know what? Yeah, let me talk to Brandon. I have this character idea I want to do because you know I thought even me, I thought I was hot shit. I thought I knew everything there was to know to the point where I thought I could create a level one through twenty class. Yeah. But I needed somewhere to beta test it and mm-hmm. by no means was it a yeah. perfect class it was actually my, fir- really my first broken. session was very similar to jay's it was oh here's a world here's a story very anime but it was basically intended and constructed to teach D slowly through levels mm-hmm. whereas like the first session was teaching combat and then over time was teaching role play yada 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 um this goes hand in hand with everything we we're talking about before first two players left we were down to six there was an empty spot we brought Nick in. Nick wanted to... No, you brought Jay back in. I, I brought that. Jay back in first. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, that's when I did. That's Akio. when you started becoming uh, a permanent. A that's permanent. when you were playing you were your first character. Yeah. My, uh, my character. My character was, was so ingrained yeah. into that group. Again, uh, also going with Nick, you wanted to play a homebrew that you found. Uh, yeah, because it was essentially... It, it, was, it, was what, it was what I enjoyed the most, which is Dragon Ball. Yeah. Which, again, looking back on it, pretty busted. Yeah, but um, <laughs> but I always I always equated to I just know how to play. Yeah. I I know how to be a sweat lord. Yeah. Um. Um. But going to that, he wanted to try something. I'm like, cool. My my world right now is technically still a sandbox until everything is finalized. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, for now, we could put it in there and we could work on it. Um. And we played it. Uh. Me at the time, I couldn't really realize what anything busted would be. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to roll with it. If it becomes a problem, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. But that also brought us to Nick. Nick wanted to also introduce something new and something fresh. And at the time, I had cool concepts of things that I was introducing. Uh, that's a whole other story, though. But it was another homebrew of, like... It's an anomaly now. It's yeah, an it's anomaly. A, oh, yeah. Now they're called it anomalies. It's an anomaly now, so... Yeah. But you were playing uh, Sobek, which I forgot the actual homebrew 
that we were using. My thing was called Reaver? Um, the Reaver. Reaver. Yeah, the yeah. Reaver. Yeah, it was like a very hostile, battle heavy. I, that I don't. Was, I remember. Crazy, yeah. 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 I, I remember. Barbarian, yeah. right? Yeah. He was yeah. Barbarian, yeah. Barbarian, yeah. Barbarian, Barbarian with this very battle whole heavy story for a different abilities. Yeah, that encounter is a whole nother story for. Man, yeah. that was a really. Crazy. But that one we definitely need Jose and, and yeah, yeah. Definitely, that's, that's definitely. I remember the whole the whole concept of the class was essentially like, hey, I want to get hit real bad yeah. so that I can hit real hard. Yeah, basically it was like counter full. But it, was it wasn't like even just that. It was more Malonis. like that was the D and D aspect of it. But on the like player aspect, I remember Jay asking me to like take you up on the offer because he really wanted people to see me be enthusiastic about a game. Yeah. And I really didn't understand it at the time, but I was like, you know what, sure, and like... Yeah, because that time... You definitely don't didn't understand it because I feel on, like, our circumstance with how we were on Sunday, you didn't know what I was talking about till you actually sat down and experienced it yourself. Yeah, yeah so I remember showing up that... That Friday, and I, you know, Danny, big props to Danny making that whole, like, intro video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh and he did the intro video. One of these days, we should actually post that. Oh, for anyone on the audience, also, if you haven't realized yet, uh, there's another video that I believe Jay posted with uh, one of our sessions. Uh, yes. Danny played Paradox, uh, played which Robert. is actually the character from my first campaign, and then Jose played Sinatra, another character from my first yes. campaign. No. And then you, you played... Um, I played... Um, Robin. I played Robin, which was a made-up character that... We, I just wanted to play because I couldn't play. He was the NPC. DM. <laughs> which, which did very well. Please go watch it. Yeah. Yes, it uh, really I, I couldn't play my NPCs because I made them all stupid busted. And Jay was like, no. <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah, I remember showing up and, like, it was a bit hectic going back to eight. Yeah. You know, you still had some players that were, you know, on the fence still playing, yeah. and then you had Jose. There was, um... You had, there oh was my, still one other player I remember that ended up leaving another Jose, like, like, like you after. told me Jose was the quiet one. Yo, you... Yeah. Jose you are, was the you, quiet the one. one. Jose, you made Jose one of, like... Yeah, he did. A brilliant player. You yeah, took him under your wing. He really where is, man. Where is like, that, and then Danny was just like, like to Danny was Danny. He, he was, was always like that one guy in the background, like hot go. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, the thing that I always, I always saw in, in like for Friday, and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, whereas like I introduced Akio and introduced like mechanically, this is what. DPS a, looks like. A DPS person looks like. And I filled the category of everybody's favorite tsundere. <laughs> yeah, <that works. laughs> um, and that's how I role played my character. And people like enjoyed that aspect of my thing. I definitely showed somewhat of like the serious role play aspect yeah, of definitely. Things. Yeah. Nick, however, he brought out that actor. Yeah. Like he brought out, <laughs> he brought the, out the fucking actor, actor was like, so I remember, bad. I remember I remember going over like like in the week prior, I remember going over accents that I would use. I remember going over emotional back, like which is funny because like at the time you like you said it yourself, you didn't really know what backgrounds meant. Yeah, I remember furiously going over my background choices. Because I wanted it all to, like, really matter. I really wanted to force my story onto the other We players. were talking, too, about your character over the week yeah. as well. Because, obviously, me and Nick would always talk over Xbox, funny. Over Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> and oh we, were, we would, like, discuss, like, <laughs> hey, this is what this is what I'm doing. Like, what, what, and, like, yeah. we would go over, like, his character. And then he finally, like, after some time with himself, he figured out, like, the full thing. I had God yeah. rolls, so, you know. Yeah, I definitely. Like, and stat with group. Nick definitely coming into the game, it really that was the final piece of the puzzle that really started it. Oh yeah, solidifying D and D Friday. Like, do you, you, you want to give the audience uh, the description of your character? I don't remember the name of the race. It was it was um, lizard folk, but very modified. Yeah. Because, no, no, no. no, no the, was, the, the race it, itself was, it, it was as lizard is. folk. No, I, I remember. You were really big. Well, no, no, that was the character. No, that, that was, was character. Uh, okay, like, yeah. everything class-wise, like, race-wise, I never changed anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, you had everything lizard folk. Yeah, it was just the true. class that, like, But because, um, there technically was no lizard folk in my world, because I stopped with the basic of, uh, Human. D&D handbook. <laughs> yeah, so I, I made it, that was not really a lizard, it was more of a genetic experiment gone wrong. Yeah, and I had a cool villain for you planned, and... So, like, I just showed up one day, and it's like, alright, cool, this is his class, here's this guy that... 
basically got arrested for very heinous shit. Yeah, pretty, like uh, he pretty much when the experience, experimentation went wrong, you uh, will go out and just you know eat people casually. You know, yeah, it's like oh, I'm a life. monster. I'm gonna be a monster. Yeah, but you know through through government rehabilitation, I would say. Yeah, I was forced into the educational program, which uh, put me in. The school, very Persona Five story, yeah. which came out years after this campagne, yeah. suing you, Atlas. No, let me stop. <laughs> um, it's very uh, much like, oh, here's this kid who really needs to like, a kid, mid adult, you know, kind of like, yeah. needs to be rehabilitated. So I, I literally throw up in a prison jumpsuit, and, like handcuffs. Yeah, and, and there like, was I get a, introduced to the class. There was a late game reason with like my main D, uh, NPC, which was headmaster of the school. He was able to see into the future and knew that all you guys had a future, uh, being having to be together in order for an outcome to happen. And he pretty much covered up like, "Oh, I made this program because I was bored." <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, "All right, cool, whatever, fuck you guys." And I remember like introducing myself to the class and like, I remember like being like, "Oh, I like you. I don't like you. Fuck you." Yeah. There was that. There was that. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I do. It was the tournament. I'll never forget because it was the first time you and me really played together. And, and, was it an anime story? With no, what, was, it was it a handshake or was it fucking? It was a handshake. It was, it was, it was, a handshake. Handshake. It it was, was like, yo, it was like, if there's oh, any oh, way man, that I can describe, describe this handshake, it was like when Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, this guy fucking met in the Predator. Yeah, because <laughs> like, I literally like I was told, all right, cool, this is your assigned seat, go sit there, and Jay's character Akeo. At the, I, I don't know if you had changed your name at the time. No, he did. No, no, that he was did, also. Yeah. Your, your name. I, I was always Akio. Yeah. I was Akio first, Shiver. No, no, you Shiver, were Shiver, Shiver first. first, first but then I, was, got... I was Akio first. No, because no, 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 Shiver no, no, was no, the bad no, no, He's right, he's right. Because he lost, in his backstory, he lost his memory. So he he became Akio because that's what Jose. I, I literally told him, What's my name? And Ho- Jose was like, Akio. Yeah. And I, I was like, Okay. I'm Akio now. Yeah. So I, either way, I, I got to introduce back. myself to Akio, and Akio is, you know, the the res, like, you know, the the, the, res, the respectable one. So he's like, oh, nice to meet you, and he puts out his hand, mm-hmm. and I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? Eat you? And he's like, no, you handshake. And I remember, like, I gripped you, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna be the d hole. I'm gonna be the asshole here. And roll and, and like, and I roll strength <laughs> to try to crush his strength, hand, yeah. and it's like, oh, we're doing this. I see. So I said, oh, make a save. So it's literally strength versus strength, and me and Jay both rolled at the exact same time, and both got a match running. And so the energy, the aura that we were pulling out from that handshake, and everybody's like, (gasps) at that point, I need to make it a contest. So I said, roll again. Oh, yeah. (laughs) To which they kept on rolling high numbers above my DC of failing. They kept rolling in the 20s. These guys were level eight. <laughs> it was it was crazy. You guys kept rolling like fifteen or higher, and it got it got so because when like that was just one moment, but like through through that tournament arc that you that we went through with everybody that was there, we just kept wowing people at the table to the point where Jose was like, yeah, I remember Jose the who, who used to not pay attention to a lot of stuff. When I showed up, he was like, oh, that, that's actually some pretty cool shit that he's doing. Yeah. But then when he saw, like, the dynamic between me and Nick and how we we both... Because ro- we never really got to, like... Role play with each other. Role play with each no, other. No, I was role played towards you. Not yeah, yeah. We, and then for the first time when we actually, like... Hello, sir. And I think <laughs> everybody... Did we everybody, just become best friends? Yeah. <laughs> everybody yeah. was like, oh, no, shit! No, I, I definitely... I, my favorite parts were definitely, like, you know, like, getting... Like, obviously, like, I, I, I had to adapt to the scenario real quick of, like, you guys being a class in a tournament-style situation yeah, yeah. against other classes, and you guys had naturally progressed pretty far on your own. Mm. And I remember showing up, and Jose's character was a really quiet one, like, Ish was doing his thing, Danny was, was doing his thing. Yeah. And then this other class showed up, I think it was Class A at the time. Class B. Class it was B. Class B. And they were thinking they're the hottest shit on the there block. There was a bunch not, of not bros, there. Not them. Him. Specifically, my the, one character, the named one Satos. Char- yes, oh, Satos, Satos showed up I and like, him like an Akio was like, "I'm not even gonna deal with this guy." And Satos was like, "I'm gonna beat all of you in this class." Like, it's not even gonna be, it's gonna be a landslide victory for my team. And then I just like poke him on the shoulder. I'm like, "Hey, how you doing?" <laughs> to which you know, he respectively shit his pants. And I'm like, "You're, you know, you're gonna you know, metaphor." You know I was like, "You're gonna beat who? You're gonna beat me? That's hilarious." You know what's crazy? When I introduced Akio, the first person I 
beat the fuck out of oh, yeah, was, your first was Satos. Yeah, because yeah, like, I made him an asshole. Because Satos, I don't know what, what, I guess like, he was doing something to bother these guys. So I was like, oh, so kill. And, like, yeah, that was oh, just yeah. my, my animalistic instinct. You and, knocked him out, I remember, you knocked him out. And I just and then, kept beating him. Yeah, yeah, and then I took his money as a paladin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I took all, and but, I got like, what, a thousand gold out of it? See, Satos <laughs> was... Uh, in my world, I made him a puppeteer, which was a, a homebrew I was developing. So, in order to make his puppets, he needed a lot of money. So, he needed to uh, make a lot of money. So, he had a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, oh, I already have it in my notes. I can't back away from this. You know, the reasonable thing for a DM would be like, oh, you guys find five gold? No, I was like, oh, yeah, he's, he just shares like 400 gold in his pouch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm then I used gold. the gold to create a weapon. When he asked for the gold back, I'm just like, I never took any gold. Yeah. yeah what what an mean? asshole. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was but really I, an asshole. I, I did appreciate that, like, you know, I got there and I, I did my best to, like, being an asshole myself, I still tried to, like, like, the, the trope was that everybody looked at me and they were like, oh, he's going to cause us to fail. This is that. And then literally it was hilarious because, no, no, no offense to Brandon's DM or anything like that, but a lot a, at the time there was a lot of chaos yeah. like between the players. And mm-hmm. like like and it showed off a lot in class when there was studying to be done mm-hmm. where like all the kids, like all the, all the characters would like goof shit. off. Yeah, like, we had a uh, very strong... Yeah. Like, I kind of... It was an anime. I kind of brushed was, over classes. I never actually... Yeah, and them. like everybody would say like, oh yeah, my character's just fucking off or sleeping or whatever. And then, like, I would literally show, like, all oh, my characters sitting there studying. And then everybody's like, wait, what? And I was like, yeah, I'm very dead serious about yeah. not going back to jail. Yeah. That jail was stupid. Because he, he had to, like, he was under the impression that he had to pass his classes to stay there. Yeah, yeah. so I did everything a model student would try to do because, I, at the end of the day, I wasn't a monster always. I was a normal person. Yeah. I want to try to resemble that previous life. Yeah, so. And my teacher was hot. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the teacher was hot. Teacher like I said... Hot. Anime girls. Anime women. <laughs> anime girls. Man, that's that's whole, really like, how you catch front, the wheel. And, and I, so, I, I want to say that, like, after after Nick, Nick joined, Nick, like, put a spark in Jose. He put a spark yeah. in not only Jose. I feel like the dynamic between you two, everybody. it really caused somewhat of um, a competitive nature between Jose, with Jose and Danny because like they have as much of a history together as you and Nick. All have. I knew with Danny was that he was the guy that was just cursed with bad luck. Oh, yeah, you can never hold it. So even though he was front loaded to begin with because yeah. of certain reasons. Yeah, but he, like even then, like he, it took him a while too. But like ultimately, you know, better decisions got made over and over and over. Yeah. Also, I I bring up homebrew a lot. I I have to remind the audience this is only four months into D and D. You, yeah, you, that's mentioned, crazy. you were mentioning yeah. like the competitive nature of like games. Oh yeah. So it? back to that. Um they definitely have like a good relationship with each other. They're always able to like talk to each other about anything. Uh I feel like they started bringing their actual relation from IRL into the game and that's what really sparked them having that dynamic duo also. Cuz yeah. until then, Jose was kind of just listening in and like playing whenever he needed to play. He still had his good moments. But he wasn't a hundred percent there, and Danny wasn't a hundred percent taking it serious. Oh yeah, no, yeah. that definitely caused some issues in the campaign stories for another video. Yeah, uh, but, <laughs> but it ultimately came down to like event when Nick joined and you saw the dynamic duo. Everyone started like trying to match themselves with you guys. Actually, behind the scenes, because me, Ish, Danny, Jose, we would hang out a lot ourselves, and we always talk about D and D because it was like this new found thing. Um. They, but, they like to say that that doesn't change now. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no it still happens. Uh, Even at work. Yeah, uh, uh, spoiler alert, this is still the consistent D&D Friday minus one person. <laughs> uh, they they were having a lot of issues. Like, yo, honestly, like, it's really hard to role play. Like, Jay and Nick, they're just so overwhelmingly present. Uh, <laughs> Jay especially, he keeps on beating on people. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, it was always like, if, if they, they were falling into that trouble of like, oh, well, because like I said, new players. They we even me as a DM, I haven't even grasped the reality of if you don't say anything, someone else is going to say something. And since you guys were way more in tune with role playing, you guys were always in the spotlight, and it became hard for uh, them to really try to get in. Danny ended up having like a frustration with it, whereas like he's like, "Yo, I can't get a single word out. I keep trying." But it's like, I feel like my character is just like, 
like not being taken seriously, and then he actually started role playing seriously. So it was like he went from the guy that was hot gay in the background <laughs> and always saying some snark remark from the back of the group to front and center being the most model philosophical monk in the session and ended up at the end of the session being the most prominent character. Yeah. 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 So it's like Danny it, it, I, I would even say that because that, that's something that I didn't even know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and even knowing that like it's like oh damn like it makes me feel like somewhat like bad for because it it's like damn like I, but, I mean, but, but at the time you couldn't have done it's crazy yeah. it's crazy to me because he's the same person that when uh, Akio had the little or when I had the little stint with one of the players yeah because he just hopped in into a conversation with me and Vapora and he, like he 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 interrupted and went in without knowing what to say and it kind of showed. And then when he basically had the little issue on all, but he's taking all the spotlight, Danny was the one who was like, well, they step up. Back. Yeah. Cause that and it's the- crazy to me that yeah. I'm hearing this, and he's the one who was the first person to even say something to that. And it's like, that's crazy. Because he was the yeah. one, it, I mean, more background to it. He was the one dealing with the most, like, I really want to, like, be prevalent. Yeah, he wants yeah. to. Yeah. So at that point he was already starting his competitive edge in that. Now look at him. He's and honestly I think he's our DM. He's a DM. He's the current Friday DM. God God damn it, he did it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm the old man of the group just smoking a cigarette in the background like (laughs) (laughs) I I made you. I I made you. (laughs) (laughs) And it's crazy to me because it's like Yeah. Like Jose Fire suit out there. Yes, he did. I can't think of Class C. Without first thinking of Paradox. Paradox, Paradox definitely thing. stole the show. 100%. Paradox, 100% Jose, stole Jose the show. Jose came out later on. Um, it because... was always Paradox and Vapora. Yeah. And then, like, me and Nick were always there side by side with them. Yeah. But, like, we had our moments. Like, me and, and, me and Nick had our moments. We definitely had our big moments in the, in the game. But I think some of the best moments... Were between was like guys. was was what between those guys was specifically Vapora and Paradox's like character development. Yeah, and the reason why I give them so much credit to that is because like how you said they started off of like and eh, whatever. We're yeah. goofy. We don't really take the game serious. To yeah. seeing, I, that's why I don't give too much credit to me and Nick because of that. Because it's like ultimately we were just veteran players and we're just playing the game. Yeah. It's that matrix I mean, saying, I, "I show the door. It's up to you to open." Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is gonna sound like a an advertisement for the other video, but we if you guys do pick up on the other video, which is that one session, which is a Super Bowl session where we all gathered and used some old characters. You could uh, really that see... Was, that, was, that was in Super Bowl. That was my birthday. That was your birthday. I'm birthday. sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. But yeah, you could really see... Like, I need you to go in with that session with the mindset of... Paradox and Sinatra were two throwaway Sinatra? characters. Yeah. Vapora. 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 Sorry. Vapora. Sinatra, Sinatra is, is his character current right character. That's his character right now. Sorry. Uh, Paradox and... Vapora. 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 I... <laughs> Almost forgot it again. I was about to say Sinatra, <laughs> but I, again, you're watch on Friday. You're gonna yeah. say you're lucky. Well, back, to, <laughs> back to the scheduled advertisement. Um, <laughs> uh, if you go into that session, look at Paradox, Vapora, look at the dynamic, and just realize those were throwaway characters for them to learn the game. They really were, and you know they stuck with it. You they know, stuck they, with they, it. They and it's it's funny they made how concrete characters out of them. It's funny how like this Tales of Legends, this Tales of Legends part. Is like supposed to be about like you two, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But then we got into like this delving period of like your DMing and like how you two improved. And because you two improved, and then us showing up and doing our, our stuff, yeah. that we inspired two other people. I mean, that's what happened D&D with is D&D never also. It, it very much goes to show how DD is not a you thing, it's yeah. very yeah. a we thing. It's a, it's a we thing. If and you bring emotion to the table. 
and others are like minded, it brings emotion out of them too. Yeah, like yeah. not not every D and D story has to be like what was the term they use like a like a horror story. Yeah, not yeah, yeah not like not, sure. There's funny there there's, there's funny to be found of the mistakes made, but obviously like I think this particular video just goes to show that like growth can come from the bad, and it, sometimes it's okay as long as you're like with the right people. Yeah, I I. I I never intended Tales of Legends to be all about horror stories. No, no, not even. I think it. ultimately that would be pretty boring. The mm-hmm. part, the part of Tales yeah, of Legends that wants, I want to. Nobody wants to hear the mistakes and like, yeah. laugh at you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it happened already. It it happened. Happened. Yeah. But who's gonna make fun of someone for you know abandoning an assassination attempt and revealing your entire social security number? Right. right? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Same same people that probably laugh at snakes. Oh, oh yeah, word oh, yeah. Oh, like, that's a character. <laughs> so like ultimately, like how about to do that? Build a wall and then realize that his other player has wings and can fly over the wall and kill them. <laughs> oh, I mean, come on, man. We had to hand the whole. Time. <laughs> yeah, we had to hand the whole. Time. <laughs> there's, there's a lot there's, of inside there's, jokes. There's to funny mistakes, and then there's. I'm not even gonna answer. <laughs> yeah. So, so so honestly, I'm I'm. I'm glad that off of the circumstances, like the dominoes fit like perfectly. Yeah. I'm glad to have known you too, because I don't yeah. think I would be playing D and D right now. Yeah. I'll you know, you know that saying of like, there's, there, there's a prevalent saying that I believe in where it's like, no D and D is better than bad D and D. I also believe the opposite, where it's like sometimes, you know, you just gotta be grateful that good D and D lasts. As long as it can, and you know, yeah. it still has, you know, yeah. like, I mean, we're solid four years, so yeah, yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Four, four, not four years with, I want to say at least three full, like, finished campaigns. Is it three? There was a few ones that got, that got cut short. Iron Helm, Iron Helm was full. Um, the one with Alistair, I forgot what we called that one. Oh, that was, uh, I don't even know. Hakume. 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 Uh, Hakume oh, guys, and uh, Class C was cut short. Even, even though it lasted Pokemon. six months. It, Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. We Pokemon. did a Pokemon session. We did a Pokemon yeah. session. That was fun. Uh, Class C was cut short after six months. That's, that, that's a different uh, story. That's a whole different story. When Jose gets here, but yeah. I, just a quick gist. I love how I left it as a general, like, happy-go-lucky, everybody's a Pokemon adventure tutorial. Oh, and then I came hard. back to World War. Yeah, <laughs> with paranoid students. Yeah, there was a lot of things that, a lot of stories that came out. Like uh, especially my second campaign, it was, it really showed that I still needed a lot to learn. That got Sheesh, canceled I after, forgot about that. That got canceled after only two I apologize sessions. for that one. That, that yeah, was having well, a bad day. That honestly, day. Uh, it's fine. Honestly, it made whenever, me a better player. Whenever, whenever you're ready. I would love to do an episode of it. No, that's Vietnam. We don't talk about now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Whenever that is that ready. is a horror story and then some. Yeah. But you know, well, it, it did now. lead to better players. However, it it was my second time DMing. The first time was I want to I actually chalk it up to beginner's luck that lasted for six months. Um, but but then after that, it was I let it you was take the uh, helm for Friday. Uh, you were able to DM. Uh, no, no, it was no, it was me. It was you. Yeah, it what was, was the story after you, that? Yeah. You no, really I had... I did the intro to you, Elia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You did the intro to really, uh, which and then... that that in itself is a horror story. But yeah. there was a few bad campaigns that a lot of us were able to stick up to. Yeah. Uh, at that point, we were also going through a lot of scheduling things because this is already a year in. Oh yeah, because unfortunately, at one point, yeah, like Wednesday, Anthony went to college. I I left. Uh, work. Jose and Ish had to leave also because of um work work, work and uh, scheduling. Also, Wednesday had like officially like died. And, yeah, stuff. that's yeah. like a, Wednesday a day was for officially TV. no more because we it, it proved to playing two sessions in a week was a uh, taxing. Yes. Um. Uh, technically, I had like. You had three. Uh, I had. Yeah, well, Jay three. was dead. He was playing three. He was doing I three sessions. No, uh, at some point, I had four. Oh yeah, you were trying to DM four. Se- you were trying to be a full time DM with no pay. I, I don't get you. Um, That's, crazy. That's what I'm trying to do now. Uh, you should quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guarantee you, D and D does not pay you a twenty an hour. <laughs> but it could. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, this, this. Uh, if anyone does have an offer to pay us twenty an hour to do D and D games. Uh, let us know. We have applications. Yeah. <laughs> we have resumes. Uh, we have, have resumes. resumes. I have references. <laughs> I have references. But I guess this is a good stopping point 
um, for for this episode of Tales of Legends. This one yeah. was a big one. We mm-hmm. really just cover like the first year of playing D and D. Yeah, honestly, we did. Yeah, the first year, the yeah. overall growth of our good friends Ish and uh, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and I, I I want to I want to say that we've gone closer as friends over over those years. Yeah, definitely. Because it definitely went from like. Here's these two random people that's not really part of your crew. And we're still technically not. I mean, we just made our own crew for Friday. Yeah. yeah, we have a merge crew now where it's like, it's you, it's Nick, it's me, it's Ish, it's Jose, Danny, Anthony. Um, I'll also throw Isaac in there too. Isaac? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, from Danny and Jose's group. Yeah. Uh, that, that kid is... Actually, it's actually three groups put together, because... That kid is way too old. Danny and Jose, if you guys didn't know, is me and Ish's younger brothers. Danny yeah. is mine, Ish, Jose is Ish's. Uh, and they have their own clique. They don't really play D&D, but they, some of them have an interest, but haven't really gotten full into it. So it's actually that clique mixed with Dudes of Legends Sunday, and then Friday D&D, and a few of my other friends uh, yeah. from yeah. high school. And honestly, I think... I can't wait to experience more. Yeah. yeah uh, like, there's only so much... Uh, there's only up. <laughs> Put it this way. I don't... As a player, I really don't feel like I'm level 20 yet. Oh, yeah, same. Yeah. Neither do I. I'm Who way... knows where we are on the spectrum of levels, but... It's getting to a point where I feel like I might be hitting double digits soon. That's maybe. Maybe. Because I mean, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I think we have a lot more to grow. Yeah. In the, in the and then six, I had six edition hits, and we're all back at square one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, man, I somehow crazy. forget an RP. And and like, <laughs> I was halfway through tier two. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think we're going to be the group that's like, oh, that's nice. They're in seventh edition. So who wants to make their characters for fifth edition? Right. Oh, right. man. Because so, there's so much books that have come out. You mean like now. the. Uh, What's it called? The everyone that still plays like second and third edition. Yeah, we're gonna be those guys. Yeah, because they're gonna be so comfortable with the fact of fifth edition. I, I I even think Wizard of the Coast themselves know that fifth edition is just like it's it's, it's a staple. It's, 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 it's the most commercial. They keep book. printing books for it, so it's like it's definitely I a mean, staple. It's the most. Commercial it is confirmed, book, so. it, like on all counts, that like D and D is the hottest it's ever been. Yeah, yeah like yeah. it is the most successful. And, and if fifth edition is where it became that, I don't see why they would want to. Well, the, the only thing that I do see them doing is like completely revamping fucking Ranger. But le- they really is, should. What's they really should. should. No, I bet I did a whole campaign with Ranger, and that was not easy. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I had a player that switched out of Ranger. This is this is um same here. Yeah. This is Jay from Dudes of Legends here with everybody else. Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out our other stuff. Um, Ish and um, Brandon, I almost forgot you for some reason. I almost said Ish and Jose. Wow. Ish and Sinatra. Yeah. 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 Ish and Sinatra. Uh, Ish and Brandon, I hope to have you for another Dudes of Legends episode in the future. Of course. Oh, yeah. And um, this was fun to do. Yeah. So definitely, if I'm not sleeping. Yeah, definitely uh, watch our other stuff. Watch our other Tales videos. And the one shot. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Bye. See ya. Sorry you had to listen to me.